So what's the most affordable neighborhood here in San Jose? Well, in this video, we head into Blossom Valley. Blossom Valley is located on the south side of San Jose. It's considered one of the most affordable neighborhood and the safest and quiet neighborhood. If you want to learn what it's like to live in Blossom Valley, continue watching. Hey, this is Junior Smart, your Bay Area real estate agent. I work with a lot of families who have relocated here to San Jose. So if you're thinking about doing the same, whether it's San Jose or anywhere in the Bay Area, go ahead and reach out to me. I would love to work with you. You can find all my contact information in the description. All right, so let's go. Let me go show you around what Blossom Valley looks like. Before we start, just a quick tip. There are two Blossom Valley in the Bay Area. One is located in Mountain View and the other one is located in San Jose. We're looking at the San Jose one today. So if you're doing your research, make sure you always put the city. So for example, if you're looking at homes in Mountain View, make sure you put Blossom Valley, Mountain View. Same with San Jose, Blossom Valley, San Jose. So, so that way you don't get confused because the prices in San Jose it might be completely different from the prices in you know mountain view just a quick tip all right so let's continue and uh, let me go show you around blossom valley all right so like i mentioned before we're going to focus on the blossom valley in san jose so in here there are two main zip code and depending on which zip code you choose that determine which school district your child will go to. So the first zip code that we're going to check out, it's going to be the 95136. So this zip code is located on the north part of the Blossom Valley. And this one's going to be closer to downtown San Jose. So if you live here, your commute is going to be really, you know, fast and easy because it's close to the most of the highway, like Highway 87, Highway 85, and then Highway 101. And then they do have uh, the VTA station right next to it. So when you decide to purchase a home in this zip code, now you have to decide which area do you want to live or which area do you want to buy the house in. The first area, which is which is still Blossom Valley, you can buy single family homes, a lot of two stories. You can buy homes from 1950s, 60s, and even the 90s. You can still find a lot of updated new home in here. And the medium sale price here is 1.3. So for the square footage, you can pick from 1100 all the way to 1800. The lot size is usually around 6,000. All right, so let's move on to the next section. This section is going to be communication here. It's this is one of the most popular area, especially for young professionals, even for family. So in this area, you can find a lot of new constructions built by KB Homes. You can also find pre-built homes. But if you decide to buy a home here, you can choose, you know, to design your own home, like, you know, plan the layout, pick the countertop and all of that stuff. So living here, you can choose from condos, townhomes. They do have single family homes. Prices range from 1 million all the way to 1.9. So whatever you decide you want, you can find in here. So if you live in this zip code, the schools that you, you can choose from is Terra Elementary, Jomia Middle School, Gunnison High School, and then Pioneer High School. Pioneer is actually associated with Amadan Valley. Amadan Valley is one of the most expensive neighborhood but if you live in this zip code just this zip code your child could attend pioneer high school pioneer high school is one of the top school here it's according to graceschool.org it's highly rated but you know if you live in a different zip code let's say the 95123 you won't be able to only in this zip code which is the 95136 if you attend terra elementary and jamir then for high school then you get to decide between Pioneer or Gardner Singh. All right, so now let's move on to the next zip code, which is the 95123. This zip code is, you know, located closer to the south side of Blossom Valley. It's quiet and it's really safe here. That's why a lot of families love living here. In this zip code, there's also two sections. 
the first section is the Santa Teresa Hills. So here you get to live right next to the hills. And then the other section is the south side. So let's focus on the south side first and then we'll talk about the Santa Teresa. So in the south side, you're gonna find that most of the homes here are built from the 1950s all the way to 1960s. And the lot size is gonna be around 6,000. For square footage, you can get from a thousand all the way to 1800. You're not gonna find a lot of new construction here, but you can find a lot of updated homes here. So on the here, the average sale price in this neighborhood is 1.2, so it's a little bit more affordable. That's why a lot of families love living here. <laughs> All right, so before I continue, if you have any question that I haven't touched on it yet, make sure you leave it in the comment. And I just want to tell you, I appreciate you for subscribing. I appreciate you for supporting my channel. Now let's continue. All right, so let's check out the last section, which is going to be Santa Teresa. The Santa Teresa is really close to the mountain. So you get this beautiful view. And the great thing about it, you know, the, the school, the school's also highly rated according to gradeschool.org. So the medium sale price in this neighborhood is 1.3. It might be a little bit higher depending the size of the house that you choose, but the average is 1.3, 1.2. And then from the square footage, you know, 1100 all the way to 1800, around 6,000 lot on average. But some might be bigger, some might be less, depending on what you choose. And then the other plus of living here, you're gonna be, it's also close to a lot of things. Like it's close to the Kaiser Hospital, it's close to the Social Security uh, building, it's close to a DMV, it's close to a shopping center. And then it's also a little bit far from everything. It's a little bit tucked in, so it's safe, it's really quiet. The only downside is you're not gonna find like a lot of new construction here. Most of the homes here were built from the 50s and the 60s, but you can find updated homes here. All right, so let's talk about the downside of living here that you should know before you think about relocating here is, you know, the Santa Teresa, it is close to the hospital. If you know it's spread out, there are sections that's close to the hospital, which means that you might be hearing a lot of ambulance noise. So that's the only downside. And then the other downside, which is not like a big issue, is your commute. Your commute is going to be a little bit, you know, far because the Santa Teresa is a little tucked in away from a lot of things. That's a, you know, so that might be like a pro because it's quiet, it's safe, nothing happens. Most of the people here you're going to find that are going to be the locals. So most of the locals have been living here from the 70s. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about things to do in Blossom Valley. The best things to do here is the Capital Drive-In. There's only one Capital Drive-In in San Jose and the Blossom Valley has one. It's located right next to the Communication Hill. It's a really cool place. You just go there around, you know, seven or eight. I think it's like $15, which is really affordable compared to the actual movie theater. The actual movie theater for two people, it's gonna cost you around $50. So if you have, you know, like, let's say you have four children, put them in a truck, and then you guys just head over there. It's really aff affordable, you know, families love it. And then in that area, they do also have farmer's market on the Sundays and Saturdays. And then the other things to do here is the park. There's a lot of park here, but the best park to go is the Hayes Mansion, which is located right next to Chenoweth. So a lot of people that you're gonna find there is gonna be the locals. One section they do have the playgrounds, and then the other section you can just basically walk and go sit. And then the other thing you can do here is the the golf land, or you can check out um, Oak Ridge Mall. Oak Ridge Mall is a huge, beautiful mall over there. They do have movie theater in there. So all right, so before we wrap it up, let's just talk about the downside of Blossom Valley. So Blossom Valley is a really great place to live, but every neighborhood has a little bit of down, you know, downside. First one is going to be just your traffic, especially on Highway 85. Highway 85, I don't know why, but, you know, the traffic there is really bad. So if you have to commute, let's say, to Mountain View, the traffic starts between, you know, like, 
seven all the way to like nine, you know, heading north. And then when you're heading south, you know, in the evening, let's say like between five and six. So that's the first downside of living here. And then the other downside of living here is we don't have a downtown, but that's the, I guess that's a pro because if there's a downtown, it'll be, you know, loud. It's, you know, here it's really quiet. You can find a lot of families. A lot of families are going to be here. You're not going to see a lot of young professionals. Young professionals t tend to live in Communication Hill or downtown. If, if they do, there's not a lot, but it's mostly families, and so that's why it's safe and quiet. And then the other downside is there's not going to be like a whole lot of new construction. So if that's what you're looking for, you know, most of the homes were built in the 50s and 60s. You can't find a lot of updated ones, especially if they're ready to sell it. They usually updated it. All right. So this is everything about what it's like to live in Blossom Valley. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you for supporting my channel. If you want to learn more about what it's like to live in different neighborhoods, Subscribe to my channel. This is what I do. I live in the Bay Area. I work in the Bay Area. If you're thinking about relocating here or anywhere in the Bay Area, go ahead and reach out to me. My name is Junior Smart, your Bay Area real estate agent. See you in the next video.